9.29 a.m. Um, January 4th, I believe. 2024. <clears throat> so, yeah, I woke up super early today. Because last night I fell asleep really early. Like at 10 p.m. So now I'm up pretty damn early um my dad went to work and i don't know where my mom went but she went somewhere and my little sister is at school so i thought i would finally get another video in since i still don't like talking um to my phone when my parents are around um so yeah just uh happy new year i guess it's another year has gone by and i finally haven't started over i haven't deleted my channel i haven't deleted my videos and that's the first time ever i think ever I always delete everything. Um, I always say, you know, I got to start over because it's a new year. And yeah, that's pretty much all I want to say is, you know, I'm 26 years old. I'm about to be 27 next month. Um, and I'm still living at home. And... A huge reason for that is because I always had this weird like mindset I've always wanted to to lose weight and exercise and do this and do that but something in my head was always telling me you know that I have to start on the first of whatever month um, and I always had to do it like that i had to do everything perfectly i had to do it in one go cold turkey um like for like example um on the first of january let's say you know i have i was telling myself you know i'm gonna lose weight i'm gonna start exercising i'm gonna start eating healthier um i'm gonna you know be better at school, all this stuff, right? But I would do it for like a day. But if I just missed something or if I just ate um, some McDonald's or something, junk food, then I would tell myself, all right, I fucked up. I got to start over. And that's how it was the whole time. Um, yeah, I got this for Christmas. Pretty cool. But I would tell myself, you know, I fucked up. I have to start over. And that's how it was for years and years and years. Um, especially after I started smoking because then I would use that as like an excuse or I guess it was an excuse really to you know if I didn't you know I would try to quit smoking and every time I smoked I would end up starting over with everything so I would it was pretty bad because I would, I can't even set this shit up. Uh, it was pretty bad because I would always, I would, um, it, 
intersect, how'd you say? I would add everything together. So like I would be saving up money, right? In an account. And if I fucked up, if I, uh, if I smoked again, or if I drank, or if I ate junk food, or if I missed out, if I missed a workout, or something, just for one day, I would, I would say, um, I fucked up, and I would start over on everything, everything, so I would spend all the money that I had saved up, all the money in my main account, because back then I didn't pay for anything really. I just paid for Netflix and my phone and gas. That was it. I didn't even pay for my insurance. Uh, I didn't pay rent. I didn't pay for nothing. And so it was easy for me to just say, fuck it. You know, and in my head it was like, I have to do this perfectly. And so, yeah, that's something that I uh, tied in was saving up money. So every time I messed up, I would want to start from zero, literally zero. Um, and that was all the fucking time because the most I would go was like three days without um, eating junk food or like working out and yeah even if i just missed you know like drinking water if i didn't get if i didn't drink enough water by midnight then i would um i would count that as a fail and i would say i gotta start over and spend all my money from zero and you know just wait till the next paycheck and it, 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 that's just how it was for years and years and years uh, I'm 26 now and because of that I barely have anything saved up I barely started last year because the year before that I did the same thing where I said you know I gotta start over um, and the only thing that saved me was the tax return money because I was literally going paycheck to paycheck um but then with that tax return, I got a pretty good amount and that helped me, you know, that kept me up. And since then, I, I learned my lesson. I said, fuck that. I ain't going to do that anymore. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to take whatever I can get. I'm going to save up. And that's something. So I guess that would be my New Year's resolution this time is... just keep going um i mean as you can tell i, I don't work out <laughs> i don't eat healthy uh, i'm drinking a fucking ghost uh, right now um but that's just how i feel happier i feel uh better that way i know it's not i know you know it's not the healthiest i know you know but for me personally I just, I don't have anything to look forward to besides food and my energy drinks. Um, so that's what made it so difficult for me was trying to quit everything all at once. And then, you know, wanting to do everything perfectly. And just last year, I realized that I don't have to do it that way. I can do it slowly. Oh, uh, I mean, I don't even have to do it right now. I, I like drinking this shit. You know, I like pizza. I like McDonald's. But let's be smart about it. You know, let's be smart about the money. Uh, let's put money aside. And that's what I've been doing since last year. So I actually have money saved up this time. And you know that, that's like the biggest thing that's the biggest difference 
Um, same with like movies and, and TV shows and all that. Like that's also something that I tied into everything. So I would also, you know, stop watching whatever show I was watching and start over. It, it's weird. I know it's, um, I don't know. It's probably something fucked up in my head. I don't even know, man. But point is we're out of that now. I don't know what the hell that was, but now I'm saving up money. Now I'm just, you know, I'm not starting over anymore. Um, so I feel like that's my New Year's resolution. Um, but I think I, I, I guess I have two. I mean, one is just keep going, you know, whatever, fuck it. And the second one is fuck it, like. I always tried my hardest to be cool, you know, to be somebody who, to act a certain way, um, not necessarily like, like cocky or anything like that, but just like, I don't know how to explain it, but just not me. Um, and you know, last year is when everything started to like change for me and i realized that it doesn't fucking matter you know like it doesn't matter what people think and i know that's like some cliche shit right there but it's the truth and the sad thing is you can tell younger people about it but when i was younger like i i didn't care you know like I mean, I did care. <laughs> I cared too much. And I feel like that's a lot of people. They cared too much about their image. They cared too much about, you know, because social media and all, especially nowadays with social media, you know, you have to have a fucking, you have to be in a relationship or else, you know, you're a loser. Um, you know, you have to work out or else you're lazy. You have to get a job or else you're lazy and all this stuff. And I feel like that really like got to me. I, I tried to tell myself that I didn't care, but I did care. Um, I know it's not normal or not common for a 26 year old to live uh, at home with his parents. Um, but I've learned to accept that that's just where I am right now. And I've said this before in many videos, that doesn't mean, you know, that's it. Like, it just means I'm going to keep working towards moving out. I'm saving up money so that I can move out. I'm still going to school so that I can get a job doing something that I want to do. And that's, a, that's the, what I want to do this year is just enjoy where I'm at while working towards, you know, the life that I want. And I read this somewhere. It was in one of the books that I just recently read was um, that it's about the, the journey and not the destination. Because if I stay, you know, sad and depressed, just you know because of this um i mean what if i mean i could die today i can die tomorrow i can die at any moment and i'm gonna die sad i'm gonna die you know depressed i'm gonna die regretting the things that i did when you know it's it happened like it's over um the only thing I could do now is just enjoy this. I mean, look at all these all these movies I got. And that's what I'm talking about. Like, I used to be ashamed of this. I used to be ashamed of of liking games, of liking books, and and all these movies. But you know, that's just who I am, and that's that's what makes me happy. So, really, it doesn't fucking matter.
what matters is, you know, that I'm actually trying to to better myself. I'm actually trying to to get out of here. And I think that's that's what matters. And I I, get, I guess I'm kinda just rambling now, but yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to say. Uh try to buy some new clothes this year that's that's something I've had this since I was in high school it was like nine years ago eight years ago oh yeah we got a a box a guy came in uh, at work and he gave us a whole bunch of movies and video games because I guess he was just trying to get rid of it and he didn't know where where to sell it. So he just decided to give it to us for free. Now my dad doesn't care for movies or video games. So I got it for myself. The ones out there are, are the ones that I already have. Or I don't find interesting. Um, so I got these ones. I stayed with these ones. Um... This one, I don't know exactly where they're at, but yeah, I got some new ones and pretty cool. So I've been able to get some new, uh, some new posters up here and yeah, pretty cool. I think my mom's home now. Let's see. Not yet. So yeah. Pretty much just I guess I could have uh, summarized that by saying I'm just gonna try to be myself this year instead of acting like <clears throat> you know acting like I'm cool or acting like like, I don't care about this, or pretending like I know about cars, pretending like I know about sports. I'm just going to be me, because it doesn't fucking matter. Like, I'm happy right here. Now I'm not going to fucking, <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to, you know, I mean, some people do, but. To me, I'm I'm just I am still a little embarrassed. You know, I'm not saying I'm perfect. I'm not saying I'm gonna. Just all of the shame has fucking, you know, left my body, uh, as soon as it hit midnight, on New Year's Eve. But I'm just I'm trying to be a little more open. Uh, I'm actually gonna try. To, I'm also gonna try to talk to more people this year. And I'm going to try to go out more and, you know, not force anything, but just, just see what happens, you know, because I got to get a little bit out of my comfort zone, you know, um, especially at school, school is starting again. So that's when I, I'm really going to, you know, try to, try to talk more, try to speak up in class, try to hold conversations with people, um, so I don't know if you guys remember, but I uh, made a video that said I gave a girl my number and she never texted me, right? Uh, but she works at the at a teriyaki restaurant near where I work. Um, and I, I mean, yeah, she could just be really nice. Um, but I don't know. Like, I really... Like, that's the girl I have a crush on right now. And I still see her every Saturday. 
Um, she seems she's she's talkative. She's nice to me. And like I said, I I know she could just be a nice person. Um, but I gave her a. I gave her a present for Christmas, and. Oh, she said thank you and everything. And then next week I saw her, and. She tried to make conversation. Uh, after she gave me the food, and she said, uh, "You know, are you ready for for New Year's?" And she went like this. Um, so like I saw that as a sign of like nervousness. So I don't know. I, I could just be reading into it. Um, I think I've also mentioned this in another video before, where you know. I'm not ready for a relationship, like I want one, but I know I'm not ready for one, although I feel like I sort of am now, I feel like I am, it's just, I feel like ashamed that I still live at home, and I'm trying to let that not bother me. Because I'm working towards moving out. Um, oh, I'm writing my book too. I'm going to publish my book this year. That's like, that's the biggest thing. I'm going to publish my book this year. 100% guaranteed. Um, I'm super close uh, to writing it. I wanted to write it physically on paper. And... Yeah, and then I'm gonna type it up, and I'm gonna figure out how to how to publish it by myself. So that's that's super exciting. I'm actually about to write another chapter after I'm done recording this. Um, yeah, and I think this is it. I, I think the video is already like half an hour long. Um, but yeah, I was talking about the the girl, or just the relationship in general. Um, I mean, I don't think, <laughs> I don't think, you know, it'd be kind of embarrassing to bring a girl back here. I mean, if it was my own place, it would be, you know, I wouldn't really mind it because in my head it's like, hey, I, you know, I'm making money. I'm, I'm living by myself. I have my own apartment. You know, who cares what my room looks like? But I'm still in my parents' house. Um, uh, yeah, it is, but you know, I don't want to take all this down because it's not because I like it, you know, I like the way it looks. Um, but yeah, it's just, I don't know, it's hard to find someone who really likes you for who you are, um, because this is who I am and. This is really difficult, um, you know, to find someone who would care more about you than about your successes, because, you know, it's pretty much guaranteed that anyone, you know, if I tell them, hey, I still love my parents, they're going to be like, why? What the hell? Fucking loser. You know, all this shit, and, I mean, yeah, they're right, you know, but I made mistakes, and, you know, people don't see that, or they just, they don't, please don't care, um, you know, you have to be, in today's world, you have to be fucking success after success after success, or else nobody cares about you, and it's true, nobody, nobody cares about me, I mean, I have my I have my friends um, from from school from long ago. I still have my friends uh, that we hang out sometimes, and but besides that, you know, it's like I'm talking about women. You know, like I want a I want a relationship, but that's why I say I'm not ready. Cause I mean. I feel like I could, like I would be good, but at the same time I don't, 
so I'm not ready. Um, I need new clothes. I, I really don't have any clothes. Like I, this is all I have from from when I was still in school, and that's the same thing that I'm still wearing. Um, I know it doesn't matter what you wear, but it does. Cause that's how it is it's you know this doesn't matter but it does like you know like clothes don't matter but it does money doesn't matter but it does your looks don't matter but they do that's just how it is and that's why i'm saying like i don't really like i don't know it's, it's just it's hard to explain um you know the last relationship that i was in was fuck long time ago and <clears throat> and even back then i tried to act as someone who i'm not and I don't know. Kind of just rambling now. You know, I'll talk about that in the in another video because uh, there's more on that. But um, yeah, happy happy New Year. Um, let's just keep moving forward. It's crazy. I'm not. This isn't fucking day one anymore. Like it always was. This isn't you know. This isn't the beginning, this is continuation. So that's just, that's insane to me. Things are gonna change. It's crazy. Things are gonna change this year. I'm gonna publish my book. That's pretty much all that matters this year. Or that's pretty much all that matters right now is publishing my book. Holy shit, after that, it's gonna be it's going to be crazy. Everything's going to be different. Even if the book isn't like huge or even if nobody reads it, you know, it's still in my head. Like, Hey, I fucking did it. I published the book, but yeah, anyways, just fucking, sorry, I don't have no one to talk to. So I just fucking ramble on and on, but here's my collection over here hey just in time i think my mom got home so yeah she just she just got home so twenty twenty four still gotta get a new Fucking calendar. <laughs>